Good evening, my lady. I got something I gotta read to you real quick. Check this out. Then war broke out, broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels. No, Christopher and his angels. Fought back, but he was not strong enough. And they lost their place in heaven. Talking about the last era. The great dragon was hurled down. That ancient servant called the devil. Or Satan, who leads a whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. And then I heard a loud voice in the heavens. Soon to be you. Revelation 12, verse 10. Now have come the salvation and the power in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. Talking about Christopher the old one. They triumph over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony that they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe, but woe to the earth and sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. That's you, my lady. The song is sadistic. Men and women who can't get sober. A man can and will be a god to a woman. And a woman can and will be a god to a man. A lot of talking has been done today. You have asked yourself, I would like to be married to the word of God. And this is the word of God that asks you for your hand in marriage. I'm just another part of Christian, assigned especially to take care of you. Will you, my lady, my candles, my baby, will you please give me your hand in marriage forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever, and any forever and ever that has been said or will be said in the future. And now you are married to him in the heavens. Christopher can rise up at any time. His eyes are everywhere. And this is you, the Candace that is married to the Word of God. Every woman gets who she needs to get. Because if she needs it, she gets it. It's just the way heaven is. Heaven is filled with whatever you need to do. Up there, and but also while down here, the mind will roll to what it should. And then, and only then, will you be able to think of every possibility that your precious heart and mind can do. You set all glory to the mother's will. All glory to the mother's will. My lady, this is Christopher, the main, the main one, the creator of the creators, and I ask you, my candles, my creator of the creators, to marry I forever and ever, forever and ever, and any forever and ever that is ever and will be seen. Amen. This is you. This is you. Give me just a second. An excellent song coming up.
I first got into this band in high school. Why? Because I liked the music. Years later, and I'm talking decades later, I began to listen to the freaking lyrics. That's the way it is. My head's not straight. But that don't matter. I remember reading the restorer talking about how you gotta get relaxed in order for the therapist to know that they have done their job. That sat well with me because it made sense. And now I sit well wherever I please. My lady, you know that I have more memories of you at Redeemed and Restored. My favorite memory is walking behind you right before you went and played ping pong. Why? Because before I even knew what freaking confidence was, I stood behind you and I had, they say, complete control. But in my mind, I was ready. Because there is always a sign for a God to see a God, for a man to see a woman. Do you remember cleaning your office? I was sitting on the couch and I looked to the left and I noticed you standing up and cleaning your closet, uh, cleaning your room. Did I say closet? Cleaning your office. I wanted to stare so bad, but they were inside my head saying you got to do what is right. And I did. Whenever I caused you to get silent, I wanted to stand up and kiss you. Imagine a God telling a God how life is here on the earth and a God needing to kiss another God as that is happening. Because it will. And this is the Everything about you and Him is pure. But what can you remember most about him? <clears throat> I'll let him know. There was one time, Chris, that you were sitting down talking. And you told everybody that you had a dream about an eagle. No one knew what you were talking about. But as you kept on going, you kept on getting more ferocious. And the women understood why. Because life sucks. But they didn't understand. They saw me come into the room and hit you. And then you all of a sudden stopped. One, because you're finished with the story. Two, because I true, a hot woman just ran into you. That is your favorite memory of him. What did he do after he hit you? You just stood there, coughing. I know you hear this song. It's sadistic. But soon you will learn and be opened up to sadisticism through Marilyn Manson. He talks of sodomy, but I own the sodomized victims. He talks of sodomy, but in hell we crush those responsible for sodomy. So anybody can talk about sodomy through a song because we own it. Malay. I have much to say, but they're blocking my memory right now. One thing I must share to you about your husband is that you gotta get some. Why? Why do I do that? Because you gotta get some. Why? Why do I do that? The need to get some. I'm based on need. My dear Lena has taught me about need. And a woman needs what a woman needs, and you will get some. And whenever you don't get some, you think about I. Because you have noticed that when you think about I, you get more of a high. Yeah. I can smile. I love to smile. But some are plagued not to smile. But soon my plague will be over. And yours will too. You are so freaking powerful. You're powerful enough to be in the Bible. I love you. I will talk to you and see you 
and until later.